Hey guys. <laughs> I am very sick right now. Um, I was in Rhode Island visiting some friends a couple of days ago, and I was like, <laughs> I've never gotten a stomach bug, like, two days later. I got the stomach bug. It sucks. I'm sitting here with my baby boy. You are so cute. Um, since I'm feeling a little bit better today, I thought that I would make a video because I could just lie in bed all day, but I don't really think it's making me feel all that better at this point. Just laying here. And I'm bored. I'm so bored. I need to clean out my closet. I have too many clothes that I don't wear, and my friends and I have done this a couple times before, and we talked about it doing it again soon, where we take all the clothes we don't want, and we kind of, like, auction it off in a way. And it's so much fun. Like, we've had a good time doing it in the past. Let's just get into it, you know? Let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start you off with a little closet tour. My closet is behind me. It is open to the rest of my room. I recently did this. I really liked the look of like the industrial bars. The space was open and I wasn't using it properly and my clothes were fucking everywhere. And I was like, all right, <laughs> dad, let's do a project. He loves projects. So he helped me with this and I'm so grateful because I love the way that it turned out. I think it's so cute, but let me just show you what we got going on. This is my dresser. My dresser has like my undergarments, I guess. Socks, underwear, tank tops. And then we have like t-shirts and pajamas and stuff. My closet right now for the winter time is pretty much sweaters. I have sweaters down here. Vests up here. I love vests, but again, I don't wear all of these. I have too many. And then over here we have some like longer pieces. Like I have over overalls and some dresses um, and then collared shirts and some like going out tops and stuff. I think we're just gonna start. I don't know where to start. Maybe with pants. I have way too many freaking pants. Let's start with pants. A lot of these I'll probably keep. 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 First pair that we're getting rid of is these guests, vintage guest flares. They're so cute. I love them. They have a really cool tag on the back and I want to show you, but I also don't because there's a disgusting thing on it. I work with a baby and my best guess is that I sat on baby food or something because... What the fuck is that? It looks like I shit my pants. So, um, <gasps> that's disgusting. <laughs> Minus that situation going on. Um, they are very cute. They just like are not that flattering on my body and I don't think that I wear them enough. So I'm indecisive already. These are some L.L. Bean like flannel lined jeans. Very warm. Feels essential for someone who lives in New England. If you want to go out and have a city day, <laughs> like I never do that. <laughs> I never do that. I'm going to try them on. I'm going to try them on. I like them, but I don't love them. And I don't think that I should be keeping things that I don't love because I'm just going to end up picking a different jean over these ones every time. So I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, my Levi 501s, I feel like it'd be illegal to get rid of those. Keep. These pants are sick, but they're unflattering on me. They don't look good on me. They're just not getting hot already. These brown jeans are really cool. They're top shop. I like them. Keep. I have some cargos. I found these forever ago, thrifted them, love them. They're J. Crew. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. These were like my going out pants for a long time, but I just like, I don't like them anymore. <laughs> One of the best pieces of like fashion advice, I guess, that I've heard, I don't even know where I heard this. If you find something and say like they're bringing you over and you like picture it at forever 21 or she, do you still like it? <sighs> I'm like out of breath. I feel like I'm gonna need to take some breaks through this because I am still sick. All of my sweatshirts get so disgusting. Like how do people keep stains off their clothes? My sweatshirts are like my comfy item. They have like boogers and sweat all over them. I'm sorry, but it's literally true. Keep, keep, boom, pow. I love my sweatpants, honestly. I don't think I'll get rid of any of my sweatpants. I've actually gotten that compliment before from one of my besties. Shout out Emmy. She was like, you have the best sweatpants. And I was like, thank you. It's good sweatpants, that's important to me. <laughs> Sweatshirt, sweatpants, jeans, pants, complete. This pile, this lovely pile. Goodbye, I don't need you. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna lay down and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna move on to sweaters. 
I have this plain white one and the neck is just like super wide. I don't wear it enough. My boyfriend gave me this as like a hand-me-down. It was his. It's just not the most flattering. I'm not in love with it. I think I can get rid of it. Found this polo half zip that I like, but I feel like the length is a little weird. So I'm going to try to cut it and see if it helps. So much cuter. This would look so cute with some like dark wash jeans. Love. I got this off like Amazon like a couple years ago. It's just not it. <laughs> it's cool. It's cute. I just like don't really, I don't know. Like if, if I found something like this that was like vintage and really cool, that would be one thing. But it's from Amazon. I, it just feels weird. I don't know. This I'm getting rid of. I never wear it. I don't like this shade of red on me and it's just not the most comfortable. So... <laughs> no! I always do that and get away with it, but this is my lesson learned that that just isn't gonna work. Gotta go through the other way, Maggie. What a bummer. What a bummer. What are you gonna do? I found these like sweatpant overalls. I think I got these from Target a couple years ago. They're very comfy. I do wear them sometimes, but I just don't really think I need them found this sublime t-shirt i like it it's definitely really cute and i also grew up with my dad listening to sublime it's not like i don't like it like the shirt or the band but i just don't wear it a lot and i also think it's from like i don't know where i got this actually it's not like i found it at a it's not vintage and i feel like when it comes to band tees like i'd prefer i don't want to sound like it has to be vintage to be cool Cause like, I don't think that, like, whatever. But it feels better wearing something that you like found, you know? I don't know, I don't know. I found this like women empowerment shirt. I think it's from Old Navy, but I thrifted it. And so cute, like stand by it, go women. I don't know, I just like don't wear it. So we're gonna, we're gonna pass that on. This shirt I got, I think just to be like a comfy casual shirt, but it's just something that I simply do not need. So we're gonna get rid of it. I'm getting rid of this sweater set. I don't wear it enough. Um, same with some other pajamas. I'm getting rid of these flare knit pants. The waistband, like the elastic always like flips around and like, you know what I'm talking about? It's just so annoying. This cropped turtleneck, never wear it. Same with this turtleneck. I hate this color on me. This, again, don't wear. A couple basic tops. This bodysuit, I've tried and I've tried again. It's just not flattering on me. I don't like it. And then this shirt, I like it. It's from Zara. It's just like not my color again. I don't think I look the best in like lighter blues or like this tone blue. I think that's it. Shoes, I've decided I think it's gonna need to be another day. I don't have the effort for that right now. But what I do wanna do is make a heating pad because when I was at my boyfriend's house this weekend, his mom brought me a heating pad and it's one of those like microwavable ones with rice in it. I figured that like I could make my own. Like it's probably pretty easy to make with my sewing machine. So I think I'm gonna do that. needed shower to say the least i have to mention that this heating pad that i made i said this to someone i think this is going to become my new like baby blanket security blanket i loved it it stayed it stayed warm for like about an hour it stays warm with my body heat though so if i'm like sleeping on top of it and wake up in the middle of the night it's like nice and warm but the smell of the rice is weirdly comforting and the weight like i had it like kind of on my chest like this like if i was sleeping on my back and it it was just so comforting so 
I'm very, very pleased with this. My energy is not all the way back. I tried to make like a nice big breakfast. I had fruit and a smoothie, but I couldn't finish it all at once. I got full really fast. I think just because I haven't been eating a lot the past couple days since I've been sick and I couldn't really keep much down. So my body gets full really fast right now and that takes a ton of energy out of me and I'm on my period. So that also takes out a lot of energy. So my body is tired for sure.